what is happening guys welcome back to another video in my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how to create your new remote desktop on kamatera and from until the point that you connect that successfully on your computer now i know that i already have a similar video on my channel but the problem is that i showed you only how to create that on the kamatera website but i didn't show you how to connect connect that successfully to your computer this video is a special request from vanessa so vanessa you're probably watching this video right now so vanessa thank you so much for being one of my first and top students and being such a great friend before we start this video if you are new to my channel or you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you will know when i release a new content and this video I will show you how to connect to remote desktop server also to mac operation system and windows operation system so without further ado let's dive in straight to my computer and i will show you how it's done okay guys so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you exactly how to create your kamatera server okay the same way that i'm doing every single time and how to connect that to your computer okay i will be going over the mac operation system and the microsoft windows operation system so first first of all we want to create the server so i am at the page kamatera.com so let's log in okay and as you, as you saw you have 30 days free trial so if you ha haven't uh, signed up for kamatera you can give it a try for 30 days and see how it works and um, so what i'm going to do right now is i'm in my dashboard i will click dashboard and it should open me a drop down menu let me just refresh it okay ah it is on, on my cloud so after that click servers and those are my servers that i have in my dashboard okay you can i think you can manage uh, how much you want how many servers that you want it is really depends on you and which scale are you working so i will create right now a new server i will show you exactly how i'm doing that so let's click cl create new server okay now uh, basically for me i'm opening or in london in the uk or in israel so in this example i will be showing how to do that for europe for london okay but th this process is the same for every country so uh, we chose london now the, the the thing that we need to choose here from uh, the an image choose an image we want to choose desktop operation system images okay after that we click on windows okay we, because we want windows operation system after that you need to choose version okay you have two versions the 8.1 uh, and 10. now you don't want to go for the 10 because the uh, the higher the version is it will make your computer more laggy and we want to have uh, as, as much speed as possible with the computer and we don't really need anything fancy in, in, fancy inside the computer because we're just using chrome a uh, google chrome and that's it so i'll choose a uh, 8.1 now after that you have here the type that uh, you choose if you want to go and read about each and one of them you can just put your mouse here and, and read it but for me i'm always choosing the same thing because again it's not really that important so i'm, I'm choosing b now cpu you can uh, you can choose which cpu what is the power of the cpu that you will be choosing i'm personally using for one because again as i said we're just using a chrome a google chrome which is really really you don't need like a, a really strong computer to uh, to manage that now next thing is ram here is more uh, it is a bit more important i'm using at least two gig, gigs of ram uh, in the past i used only one and after a few hours of working working on the cloud server it, it it's starting to get more laggy and starting to to be slower so i'll be choosing two gigs now ssd uh, i will be choosing 30 gigs okay because that is something that the, the ram is more about the speed of the computer so two it will be good and ssd 30 gigs it's okay now I, i'm making that as simple as possible for you guys so because i personally myself not a tech guy and i obviously 
think that you not as well but you can play around with all all those options and remember that the the, the better computer you will, you will choose the higher you are going to pay to Comatera. so now let's keep going let's keep going and um, right now I need to choose a password so let's create a new password okay second one okay now we want to create a name for the server so let's give it a test now here the section that you choose the um, how you want to pay for the server so you can be uh, built by monthly no matter how much you are going to use the cloud and you can be built uh, an hourly cycle but I personally myself using hourly cycle because most of the time the cloud servers uh, are off okay I'm not using all of them all the time so I don't uh, need so I don't need actually to pay for that time that I'm not working on the cloud server and this way you can also uh, you can also save yourself money okay instead of like paying 26 bucks you can pay maybe 10 bucks or 15 bucks okay so if you run multiple cloud servers that will uh, that will actually help you to save a bit more money so let's choose our billing cycle and now let's click create server so right now what I'm, you see that we have here the task quad that it's basically right now creating the server so we will just uh, let it finish a few seconds minutes and get back to it okay now that it is finished basically what we need to do is to use this uh, remote desktop uh, server details and to link it to our computer now I will be starting with a Mac operating system so the, first, the, the only thing that you need is to download this app, okay? The app called Microsoft Remote Desktop. You can look it up on App Store or, or on Google. Uh, it is totally free, you don't need to pay anything. Just download it, install it to your Mac and you will be good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I will be clicking here, this is the server that we created. So let's click open and now all, all the things that you see here that they are not important we only need the IP address okay this thing this is the internet new IP address so uh, I will be copying that and let's open our app now let's click on new and now we just need to create a name so let's put test and here you paste the IP address okay uh, where is the PC name here you paste it okay now all we have left to do to fill in is the the creden con credential uh, its username and password now by default you're because we in the process that we created our uh, new remote desktop we didn't have an option to to create a username but by default your user username will be administrator so you always use that as a, as a username so let's type down add hmm. okay now the password we are using the password that we created okay and let's see that I wrote it down right administrator okay perfect now after that you just click on X now as you can see that right now we have here our new server so all you need to do is to click on that and click continue and boom that's it you have a new remote desktop of microsoft inside your mac okay it is that simple so right now i'll be showing you exactly how to do the same thing how to create your new remote desktop and how to link it inside windows operation system now just something to, to tell you guys that i'm actually inside of one of my remote desktops and i will be showing you exactly how you can enter a new remote desktop within a, and already that you are already in one of your remote desktops that is insane you can open as many as you want within remote desktop within remote desktop etc so what i'm going to do right now is basically if you have the, the newest version of windows you have here this uh, like the search icon so uh, this is the oldest one okay so i'll be just clicking here search now you want to search remote 
desktop okay you see remote desktop connection now all you need to do is click on that now second thing you want to click here show options now here in the this column of computer you're going to paste your IP address okay so I already have my IP address here that I copied so I will be pasting it here okay now as you can see it's already automatically generated me for me the word administrator so if it doesn't just type down admin administrator and what I want to do is I will click save as okay now let's do test and I will choose where I want to save it okay so this way you will have a shortcut and you will not have to always copy the IP address and then paste it uh, and do this whole process again so you will have everything already saved as a shortcut so I'll be saving it on desktop and okay you see right now that I, right now I have here this icon so every time that I, I want to log in inside my remote desktop I just will have to click on that and that and that's it so uh, let's click here so basically we already saved that so we can close that so I will just click on that and right now it will ask you the your password it first time it will ask you uh, the password and then you just click here uh, remember my credentials and that's it next time you will just click on that it will automatically open for you the the, the new remote desktop so let's just type in the password and click remember credentials and okay and you click yes you can mark this thing don't ask me again connection to this computer yes okay and basically right now it's connecting to our remote desktop and boom guys there you have it I am inside the new remote desktop within one of my remote desktops and on my and everything is on my Mac okay guys that is huge okay and as you can see it's really really simple to do that but I know some of you guys are not really super techy guys so uh, this is why I created this tutorial so you will understand exactly from the point that uh, how to create your server until the point that you connect it successfully to your computer and you will be able to log in so that is it guys so there you have it guys i hope that you find this video really helpful and also easy to follow and if you do make sure you smash this like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you support my channel and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you will know when i release new content thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video